kind of worried it was going to give like uterine lining worm vibes, but it's really, it's really not. It feels like anxiousness. I wouldn't even really call them spaghetti straps. I'd say they're more like linguine straps. Hi everyone, it is your local favorite fashion rat who has crawled out of a sewer and infiltrated a rental apartment. I'm Lucy. So, fun fact, TikTok is actually my personal wish list generator. Like, I believe it's fully tapped into my neurons to just show me videos of cute consumerist goods that I would like to purchase. I mean, it's that and a reflection of my personal brain rot. <laughs> Anyway, as a Libra, I am prone and partial to pretty shiny things, and so thus the algorithm shows me pretty shiny things. So today I thought we could look at pretty shiny things for science. In particular, one brand that I feel like always pops up on my For You page and the girlies always look so cute. I feel like they're low-key, like a viral brand at the moment. And that brand is O Poly. Now I've actually never bought from O Poly before. I've only just like kind of heard of them. So let's skedaddle over to their website and pick out some dresses to put to the test and see if they're really as cute IRL as they are online. So starting with the dress that really like drew me in, I kind of started the idea for this video, which is this one. This is the viral Champelle dress. Shampoo? Champelle? I don't know, they're like a British brand, I think. Maybe it's like Champelle. <laughs> Now I originally saw it on TikTok and everyone was ordering it in black. And I think it went viral in that black color because like it, I'm pretty good, it's pretty gorgeous. So I was like, okay, cute. But on the website, it actually also comes in a pastel pink and an aqua. Now, if you know me and you've been around, if you've been subscribed, uh, then you know I am a soft girly who likes a little bit of color. So I, I want to pick one of the colors, but I feel like the aqua color is like super stunning and it's kind of giving me mermaid vibes. It's definitely not inexpensive at 175 Australian dollars, but compared to, I feel like a lot of occasion dresses, I don't think it's that outlandish considering everything we have going on. Okay, so size wise, I'm having a little bit of a dilemma. Looking at the size chart, I'm kind of on the cusp between an Australian size eight and an Australian size 10. People on TikTok from like different reviews are saying to size down, but then some other people are saying to size up, but the website says to size up and I'm just gonna follow those instructions because I think that's the fairest test. Ooh, okay. I was scrolling through the bestsellers and this one has stood out to me. This is the Navali dress. I feel like ruffles like this have been having a bit of a moment in fashion. I mean, it's a bestseller and it seems to have good reviews. And I feel like if this looks good, it could be like, a very romantic ooh la la kind of moment. I'm intrigued, let's give it a go. And I'm also gonna get the size 10. Okay, so I was just browsing some more on the site and they have done a release that's giving very Euro summer. It's kind of almost giving like mermaid core kind of vibes. And I'm really liking this set, which is the Aria top and the Electra skirt. A little bit more on the casual side than what we've looked at so far. I do wish they had it in more colors. Uh, I would love this in white and you might think that's white. It's not, it's cream. Nothing against cream as a color. It looks very beautiful on a lot of people. I feel like on me, it does look a little bit like I have scurvy despite my regular consumption of fruit and vegetables. So let's go with the green. <laughs> looks promising. The top has an adjustable back. So I think I'm going to get it in a size eight and I would have been cautious and probably gone to like a size 10, but they actually have cup size options, which is great. So I'll go for the larger cup size option because it's my size. <laughs> and I was looking at between an eight or a 10 in the skirt because it's quite like roomy on the hips. But since there's like an adjustable waist tie, I think we will go with the 10. I feel like it's better to go big, I think, than to go small. I feel like these individual items are a little bit pricier than the other items on the site considering each individual piece is almost as much as the red dress we just added to cart. But it gets bonus points for me because it's made of cotton and I love me a natural fiber, especially for a more summery collection. And you're gonna get sweaty when you're like dancing and like eating giant bowls of pasta and having fun, which is what you do in Euro summer, I assume. I don't know, I'm not there. <laughs> okay, so diving deeper into the O Poly rabbit hole, I have noticed that a lot of people seem to be talking about these more streamlined pieces made of their modal fabric. And these designs remind me a lot of skims, but just with like a little bit more design detail going on, like they're not as minimal. Anyway, there are quite a few pieces in this particular fabric, but this beige dress caught my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna try it in the black. I don't wear black often, but I do feel like this looks so understated and chic and it would just be like cute in the black. And while they say this one's quite stretchy, I'm also gonna get this in a 10. I am playing by the rules. Okay, let's find one more. Let's do something pink. I feel like they have a lot of really cute pink stuff and I'm a pink girl. Like just a little treat, just a little, just a little, little, little treat. Ooh, okay. This one reminds me quite a bit of the House of CB Cara dress, but that one is like, 
300 Australian dollars. It's not like an exact tube, I don't think, but it's definitely a similar vibe. This is the Violetta dress, and it kind of reminds me of the Bays one in that it's sort of like a simple streamlined design. This could very well be like a cute, affordable alternative to the House of CV one. Okay, let's get that one, and again in the size 10. Alrighty, so those dresses are ordered, and I'll be back here when they arrive, and we'll try them out. I have just got back from the gym looking very glamorous and am just sitting down to quickly have my taro milk tea protein. Tangent, I'm not even like a taro milk tea girly, but this taro protein is kind of like, it's kind of doing things to me. I just finally found a protein brand that I like really enjoy. It's from Far East Alchemy, which not sponsored, by the way, this video is not sponsored, but I do actually have an affiliate code now, which is funny because I'm not really like a, <laughs> Like I'm not a gym bro, but I am like a sip sip girly. They ship internationally. They do a bunch of different like milk tea flavors. Just wanted to mention them, shout them out. Because they are a very slay, small Australian business and their product is like just, it's very good. We don't know how these are gonna be, but I know this is good. Anyway, let me go get myself camera cute and I will be back to try out these dresses. And here's dress number one. <laughs> I <laughs> so here we are in the viral champel shampoo shampoo not sure dress let me let me back it up here against the wall so you can get a decent look okay 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 <laughs> I'm gonna let you have your thoughts before I tell you all of my thoughts because I have I have a few okay have a think let it marinate listen first things first it's definitely like an attention grabbing dress it's definitely a wah wah wee wah 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 vong kind of vibe but I think the 10 was the right decision just because of like all the beading and like kind of the more fitted elements of the dress. But because I'm like between sizes, I think if I went sides down, it would have a little bit more of that like snatching kind of vibe. Like it stretches, but it doesn't really like, it doesn't really hold. Rina Sawayama hold the girl not found in this gown. At first when I put this on, I thought this little, I don't know if you can see it, this tiny little, let me, that was giving like Monty Python horse, like, I thought this was like a little sequin snag kind of situation because there's there's a lot of beading and sequining and snaggable activities going on. Second of all, I don't know if you can tell in the TikToks or in the pictures online, I, I did know this going into it, but there's like a leotard underneath, but it's, you know, it's very, <laughs> it's like there. <laughs> like maybe it's going for like a high cut look or like a lack of uh, organ meat vibe. But you know, just, just something to note. Actually, I just double checked the photo. I think you meant to cup this, but I don't know if you can see, that's my undergarment and that that there is the bodysuit. It's giving Top Gun main theme. It's giving highway to the danger zone. Uh, let me show you the back. So we have our little leotard here and I don't know, you can't really see it. Like it's sort of see-through, but like not really see-through. I have worn more see-through garments than this. It doesn't really bother me, but if it's something you're concerned about, if you think this is going to be a little bit more of a modest garment, it is somewhat see-through. I also like having a little support for my glands of the mammary variety, but this cowl section is actually, <laughs> sorry, that actually seems like a little, <laughs> I thought maybe there'd be like a little more like structure in this section. I don't know, I just feel like it's one of those cases where, surprise, on the internet, it looks nicer in like a static image than like on a real human in motion. I know there are some people who would put this on and it would be like perfect for them, like no problems. They probably wouldn't have this little gappy thing going on, but that's me. That's, that's, this is my flesh vessel that I'm dealing with. I don't know. Also, since I learned about color theory, now I'm like too aware of it. I, I've like taken my little pill and now I can't go back and have like a little Keanu Reeves nap in my pod. I can't. I know that this color is sort of wears me a little bit in my opinion, maybe you disagree. Anyway, that is the, Chantelle dress. You see her on the dance floor. What you do? What you do? <laughs> Bachelorette number two. I like this one a lot more than I thought I would. Admittedly, this was a little bit of a struggle to get on. There are no like zips or anything. It's just this elastic band around the top and a little bit of a stretch in the material. And obviously like the side is, you know, half open. So we did lose a single nail in the process. RIP to a fallen soldier. I was kind of worried it was going to give like uterine lining worm vibes but it's really it's really not it is giving a little like dancing girl emoji vibes but like i expected that going into it i'm mm, i can't i kind of like it but sometimes i find like ruffles depending on how they're done i can find them like a bit not so flattering but the way these are done and like especially with the ruffle down the leg i feel like it's it's a really flattering placement of ruffles to me personally it also definitely helps that this is like a very like delicious red color like it's a very classic 
romantic red. It's definitely a simpler design and I think that kind of works in its favor. Like for me, it's still not like the one in terms of like formal dresses. Like I don't put this on and I'm like, oh, I never look so beautiful because I've definitely looked more beautiful. <laughs> I don't mean that in like, <laughs> I just mean like, I, you know, I just mean like, I, you know, I, I believe in my own personal potential. I've been lucky enough to wear some pretty cute things for the sake of the internet. And so like, it's not like, I don't think it's like the cutest thing I've ever worn, but it's definitely like, you know, we're in a we're in a higher percentile than some of the other things I've worn. I am wearing like a little strapless bra under this because again, there's no like support going on. There's like an elasticy kind of like rubbery tab on the front section, but not on the back. I will say it's not like the thickest or most robust rubbery grippy boy, but it's something. It's a, it's something. So not sure how it would hold up to like athletic activities. Was that giving athletic? Was that? <laughs> was that giving athletic? Is it? I don't know why I'm like doing the movement like I'm threatening to do the splits like I can do it because I can't actually... No, oh, hang on. No, I can't. I can't do that. I personally like this one a lot more than the last one, but that's also like me personally and like how I feel, which arguably is an important factor because I feel like how you feel in something definitely projects to how it looks, you know? If you feel good in something, I think you, you know, you look better in it because you can, you look how you feel. Let me know what you think. Okay, this one is like 50% slay and 50% nay. And to clarify, I would say the overall vibe plus like the bottom half is a 50% slay. And then the top half is, there's just a bit of a fit issue. The color is gorgeous. I would say it's even more of like a light sea foamy kind of color. And it's like a double layered cotton skirt. It's got plenty of volume. It's incredibly comfortable. Like obsessed with the skirt. But if you remember from our little shopping segment, I got this in a 10 and I thought I would be safe to get this in the eight with the like bigger cup size add-on thing. And it's not, it, it's basically like wearing an ill-fitting bra. That's what this feels like. I just, I don't know. I feel like the way this top is sitting on me is not super flattering. And so it's a little, it's a little hard to get past that. I feel like the thin straps compared to like the cargo we're holding and the shape and the, the softness of the cargo. Like, listen, this could be like a whole other kind of video rant, whatever. But everyone's chesticles are different and even within like the same exact size and cup kind of combo, we can have a variety of different chesticles. Everyone's look different. And I just feel like this particular style of top and the way it's sitting on mine isn't really doing them justice. And maybe if I sized up to the 10 and did the 10 with the cup size addition, that would maybe be better. But according to my measurements on the size chart, I should, this should be my size. It is, it is adjustable in the back. It's an adjustable situation. I wouldn't even really call them spaghetti straps. I'd say they're more like linguine straps, angel hair straps. But in saying that and how much I'm not like eat, pray, loving this section up here, I'm considering like trying to see if this top in a different size would suit me better, but I just, I just don't know if it would, honestly. I don't know, I really like the bottom. And maybe I could just like keep the bottom, but I feel like it works really well as a two piece. I don't know, I don't know how to feel. But luckily for me, I will spend multiple hours looking at this footage and I will be able to decide in post-production. <laughs> okay, they're kind of crazy for this one. So I just want to paint you a little picture of me putting this dress on. Very buttery, very soft, it's quite thick. It's like double lined, okay, I'm into it. Now I go to pull this on over my head and I'm like putting it on as, as you would because it's a dress. And I see like a hygiene strip and I'm like, what? So I feel like I knew this when I ordered it, but I forgot, but this, this also has a bodysuit in it. And when you first kind of look at this, you're like, why does it sort of need to be a bodysuit in it? But then there's like this slit that goes all the way up here. And then you're like, okay, I understand how that would be good for safety. But once again, let me just kind of like, so the bodysuit is like there. <laughs> and if not for the other undergarments I'm wearing, I feel like it would boldly go where no bodysuit has gone before. I'll be real with you. I'm not really a bodysuit girl. I know for like so many people, it's what works for them. It's how they feel good. And, and that's great. I just, I don't know. It just, it's not my thing. I guess it's from like a smoothing point. Cause it's sort of like connect. It's like a bodysuit just here down. And then it connects to like the top part, but it's not like a full bodysuit underneath. And then the dress, it's just like this bottom section has the bodysuit thing going on. I chose to wear a bra with this because that's what I would do. Um, I think you have to wear like a really super like slim line one or not one at all. I don't think this on its own would make me feel comfortable enough. I know for some people it would, but 
I'm just doing me. Slightly bizarre bodysuit situation aside that maybe I just don't get. I'm trying not to be like a bodysuit hater. I'm trying to be like a bodysuit empathizer. <laughs> me, when I sense the bodysuit is trying to get up inside my internal organs. But in terms of the design and how it looks, I do think it's very cute. I think it's very date night. I think it's very like simple, elegant, girly, cute. Like I do really like the silhouette, but this is like the perfect mini length for me personally. I just feel like it's interesting because the vibe of this gives very like effortless, like, oh, this whole thing, like that kind of vibe. But then I feel elements of this garment trying to like rip me in half into like two pieces <laughs> you know like going back to that discussion before about like how you feel is kind of comes off on how you look in terms of discomfort or like general like there's stuff going on and like it's a bit tricky it's almost as that much like high maintenance as the first dress that's the word i'm looking for this dress gives low maintenance but it, it feels high maintenance i feel like this dress is trying to give like effortless chill cool girl but it doesn't it doesn't feel that way it feels like anxiousness or well, maybe that's just me that's how it feels it just feels like you know yeah i don't know i don't know and the final contestant yay <laughs> so this is our last little number this little little pink one here yeah <laughs> Yeah, this one, honestly, in material, it feels like I'm wearing a swimsuit. I don't know, I was really hoping this was gonna be like kind of a cute, affordable option for that House of CB dress. Like with all seriousness, with all genuineness, I really was like, this will be like a really cute, like affordable alternative, but I just don't, I don't really think it is. I'm really sorry. Let me show you the back, it has this little lace up detail. This design has potential, like it's a really simple, sweet cute little pink dress it's just not this material is not it's not doing it and i feel like they almost could have made this in like the same material as the last dress like maybe not i i am not like a technical dress making pattern making i'm not talented in that way at all because if i was i would do that but i don't i just put things on my body and talk about them but that fabric had a little bit more of a premium feel to it and it had the little flare and everything so i don't see how they couldn't use that fabric to do this maybe the lace-up detail wouldn't work at the back but like they could definitely do a cute little pink tank dress it also doesn't help that i don't this is like the color of pink where it's like close to the color of pink i like but not really here's the thing it's a little bit hard to judge because a lot of the girls on the o poly site in terms of like the kind of model they have a lot of them have a tan and a lot of them are quite like warm toned so it's a little bit hard to gauge like what's going to suit me a decidedly not sun-kissed kind of gal but it's like a little more like peachy and like salmony to me than like the kind of baby pink dusty rose kind of vibe. Maybe this is a dusty rose. I suppose there are lots of different kinds of roses and colors of roses. So I suppose this could be a dusty rose. It's just not the dusty rose that I personally envisioned in my mind palace. I don't know. The execution of this is just really, just a little underwhelming, I feel like. I just don't think I look particularly like much of anything at all. On the plus side, I do feel like I outshine the dress because the dress isn't really, <laughs> hasn't got a lot of pizzazz. And I feel like I have like a small to medium amount at least. So that's good for me. Now I like the problem solving approach. I'm sure we're all thinking of ways that we can make this work, but here's the thought. What if we didn't? <laughs> what if we didn't bother? What if we, what if I wore something else that already works? This is such an underwhelming ending. I was kind of hoping this one was going to be like the secret stunner, but it sort of isn't, is it? I feel like the, the best moments were <laughs> back a few you know i realized with this back the only kind of bra that would work for this was a sticky bra so i put one on for this and it wasn't worth it i can feel my entire boob covered in glue anyway that is this dress and that was this video trying some tiktok viral dresses from a tiktok viral brand let me Woo. is that my boyfriend army crawling <laughs> I'm not in frame you're not in frame <laughs> i need to Get some food from the fridge. <laughs> and let me know if there are any TikTok viral clothing brands or items or kind of anything. I am your little fashion lab rat, like a lab rat, but for fashion, but also for other, I, I'm a rat. I'm a rat and I'll test things. <laughs> As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.